The Gospel of today, the final section of Mark chapter 10, is full of details. And it is very unusual for Mark to be so descriptive. But scripture scholars say that details in a Gospel narrative attest to the historicity of events. Therefore, the gospel passage that we just now heard could be an eyewitness account. But these details could also have had some very symbolic significance to the Christian community to which it was first narrated as it has also for us today. And so I invite you today to reflect with me on three important details of today's Gospel. I call them three C's. C, the alphabet C. And these C's are from the story of Bartimaeus, which we just now heard, the first C is crowd. The second C stands for cloak. And the third C, cure or conclusion of the whole story. First of all, the crowd, the first C. The Gospel of today opens with the sentence, as he was leaving Jericho with his disciples and a sizable crowd, that's what we heard, a sizable crowd was following Jesus. And this crowd was perhaps made up of enthusiastic people, enthusiastic followers of Jesus, or they could have also been made up of only fellow pilgrims to Jerusalem where Jesus was going for the feast of Passover. But Jesus has been constantly testing their intentions, the intentions of the crowd. Especially in Mark chapter 10, which we have been hearing a couple of previous Sundays as well. You remember two weeks back we have had the narrative of the rich young man coming to Jesus and asking him and then Jesus inviting the rich young man to detach everything, go and sell everything and then come and follow me and you, be, you know the rich man did not, come, did not do that because he had his own possessions to which he was attached to and last week we have had the story of James and John coming and asking Jesus to be at his right side and his left side. So he, uh, Jesus had even challenged them on their attitude towards power and authority. And uh, Jesus today, to crown it all, performs this miracle, miracle of healing this blind man so that they may see what it means to be a disciple of Jesus. This is what is happening in the 10th chapter of uh, Mark's Gospel. This crowd that follows Jesus is very mixed. Apparently, there are people who are discussing about Jesus as they walk along with him. And so, Bartimaeus hears from them about Jesus. And he begins to respond to the presence of Jesus responding to the presence of Jesus. That's what Bartimaeus first does. His way of addressing Jesus is, Son of David, yes, have pity on me, Son of David. And that might suggest that he not only knows the genealogy of Jesus, we know Jesus comes from the ancestral family of David. And Bartimaeus seemed to have known this. He not only knows this particular thing, but he also knows that uh, perceiving Jesus is truly perceiving the Messiah, 
the Christ. That's why he calls him son of David. But the crowd now becomes a stumbling block for him to reach Jesus. They muffle the blind man's cry for help. And so God hears the poor man's cry. Jesus reminds the crowd around him that they should also hear the cry of the poor. And they should be instrumental in facilitating people to come to Jesus. That's what Jesus does. And so the crowd now tells the blind man, Bartimaeus, take courage, he is calling you. And they bring him to Jesus. In our context today, we can take this crowd to be the people from whom we first heard about Jesus. Maybe our family members, our spouse or our teachers or the church, whoever they may be. The crowd could also be the largest society sometimes that prevents us from encountering Jesus today. What are they? The media, the consumerist society, the secular world, it could be anything. And the crowd could also be those who facilitate our encounter with Jesus. Maybe our friends, our spouse, the pious associations, organizations, the parish community. To what crowd are we drawn to today? That's the question for our reflection. And we, what part of the crowd are we in? Are we playing the role of those who at least spread the message about Jesus? Or are we putting off others from encountering Jesus? Or are we part of the crowd that offers courage to people that God in Jesus cares for people today? That's the first to see I wanted to reflect about. The second C is standing for the cloak, cloak that Bartimaeus wore. When at last the blind man, Bartimaeus, has the chance to approach Jesus, what happens? We are told he threw aside the cloak, sprang up and came to Jesus. He jumped up and came to Jesus. So considering other references in the Bible, the cloak that is talked about here could have at least two meanings. The first, it could be meaning an exterior tunic that was his upper garment that Bartimaeus wore, or it was a larger square piece of cloth that he had spread in front of him to collect some coins from the passers-by. In any case, his act of throwing off his cloak shows a spirit of renunciation, which the rich young man you remember two weeks ago we heard about did not have. And so there is a contrasting thing happening here. The blind man does not need his cloak anymore because he goes out to Jesus in symbolic nakedness. The blind man does not need his coins anymore. Therefore, he is going to be healed now. He does not need his uh, material security anymore because he has Jesus himself now. What is the cloak? that we shelter ourselves in? What is that cloak that we find so difficult to leave, let go? And what is that cloak that prevents me from being totally available to Jesus? And the third C for reflection, the cure or the conclusion of the story. What follows is the cure of Bartimaeus. By the way, any time a person's name is mentioned in the Bible, that person has got a very sig significant place. And Bartimaeus was perhaps a very important follower of Jesus later on, after the healing experience of his. So Jesus says, go, your faith has saved you. And at once his sight returned and Bartimaeus followed him along the road. This is what we read today. Two Sundays ago, in the gospel story, Jesus told the rich man, come and follow me. But he went away sad because he was a man of great wealth. He had lots of possessions. 
in contrast in the gospel story of today jesus says to bartimaeus go but bartimaeus does not go this man follows him along the road that's what we are told for he was totally empty now he was totally a new person he has jesus himself in his life so one who was sitting on the sidewalks at the beginning of the story today is now on the road following jesus isn't that amazing so dear brothers and sisters this is the conclusion of any encounter with jesus there is renunciation and there is discipleship one of the central themes in the gospel of mark is discipleship mark constantly reminds us right from chapter 9 that jesus was on the road the road to jerusalem where he is going to suffer die and rise again when mark had made reference to this road the disciples have also been arguing who is the greatest however bartimaeus seems to be the ideal disciple as mark concludes his narrative in discipleship the next episode in mark's narration will be jesus entry into jerusalem that's what we will hear as following the uh, the text that we uh, just now heard right so what conclusion would i like to see to the story of my own encounter with jesus what conclusion would i like to see to the story of my own encounter with jesus this is the question for our reflection do i want to follow him along the road am i ready to walk with jesus to jerusalem that means to the cross and then to the resurrection amen